so yeah, uh, I think I called this one something like Manchester has been compromised, and I'm going to show you why. Student who searched for how to make a friend, then touched girl on arm, faces jail. Now, as the victim, as she now legally is apparently, as the victim, uh, this is her claim. She was touched on the arm. And that was a sexual assault by this child here. Un freaking believable. I can't even I can't even I'm so astonishingly angry about this. Um so it's Jamie Griffiths, 19. A uni uh, I'm just going to read a little bit of the story. I'm going to give you my take on it. Uh, a university undergraduate who searched how to make a friend online, then touched a 17-year-old girl, faces jail after being convicted of sexual assault. Nice opening line there, mirror. God, I hate the mirror so much. Such scum. Touched a 17-year-old girl. All right. What? Did, she grab did he grab her by the pussy then or what? Or did he touch her arm? Jamie Griffiths touched a would-be Oxbridge student on the arm and waist as he tried to talk to her in the street. He came into contact with the victim during two attempts to engage her in conversations as she walked to and from school. This is her testimony. This is what she said. And he's not argued against it. This, this isn't like some, this isn't like him just going, it was just her arm. No, she went, she said, yes, it was my arm and my waist. Some awkward child. I, I, oh, my Jesus Christ, man. I can't, like, you know, I, I've been on the MEN for this. It's the exact same story. This is a local paper. And it's 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 basically this exact same thing. They've got a slightly different picture of him coming out. Um, but, yeah, it's they've they've, re, they've written the, the, basically the same thing because journalism is dead. It's lots of very poorly paid woke people who just rewrite each other's articles after agreeing with one another in a Slack group that they're all in. Slack is like a like whatsapp or something like that on your on your computer but um here's the thing with this right say good faith right on the girl and we're gonna get onto the girl in just a second say good faith that he did cross the line and he did make her feel uncomfortable and it you, do you know what i mean it, everything he's saying is completely right fair enough fair enough right um what has this got to do with the police this boy needs a father. This boy needs a teacher. Where are his teachers? I mean, don't don't university people have outreach people for all this now? Oh, no, they don't have one for straight men, do they? The one and only person we had in that role in this country at one university was hounded out. If you're a Chinese trans, oh, my God, they'll throw money and support and everything at you. But this idiot child who's obviously really poorly chatted some girl up and made her feel very, very uncomfortable. He, he doesn't need the police to be involved. All right, so she's called the police. She's a mess. She's crying. They have to investigate. They have to. Of course they do. Jesus Christ. If my little girl came home crying, saying someone had touched her, oh, you best believe everything's going on record. Everything's getting investigated. Damn right. And then what the police do is sit him down and go, what are you doing, man? You don't talk to girls like that. I mean, I, I, you know, there, there aren't actually that many specifics on how he did speak to her. But he's obviously asked her out. So what have we got then? It goes from the police to the CPS. The CPS, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, they're the ones that decide whether or not this should be charged. Did nobody in the CPS at any point say... Isn't this a complete waste of time and money? Don't these people just need adults involved with them to sit them down and say, oh, shit, he, he liked you. He's obviously gone about it in the wrong way. He's 19. But no, 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 no. The CPS went ahead with it. It ended up in front of a judge who convicted him. Rather than laughing his ass out of, out of court, you, you, that judge should have taken him for a cup of coffee and sat down and gone, bloody hell, haven't we got ourselves into a bit of a mess here? Hey, what have you learned? What have you learned? But no, 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 no. 
convicted. Sexual assault for touching an arm and a waist. Sexual assault. This is madness. This is pure madness. Read a book, man. What the fuck has happened to our kids? He's going to have to sign the sex offender register. Are you ins- Are you insane? This is how you radicalise people. This is how people end up on 4chan joking about mass murder when you take a slight mistake because yet yeah, in good faith this it, 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 let's let's say he was totally in the wrong he crossed boundaries he shouldn't have done that um are you fucking insane the incidents took place the incidents occurred between october now let's get on to this girl actually she told the hearing let me make this a little bit bigger for you actually because i'm going to get back onto that line in a second but i want to get onto this girl because no one's talking about this side of things right she told the hearing i was just set on getting home and revising for my mock exams but i was coming over the bridge i saw him facing a hedge and thought it was really weird yes because he's a weirdo he's a gangly little D D kid isn't he look at him i remember it <laughs> i remember it happening fast as he moved and i said stop as he touched my arm he touched your arm did he like this like this great pop culture moment that we've got right here in spider-man into the spider-verse that was a comedy moment that was that was a, a, a shared by is this is a meme now isn't it the awkward boy at school just just putting his arm on because his uncle his confident uncle told him that's what you gotta do man you've got to take control of the situation you've got to show your confidence you've got to do this this is a meme this is literally a meme for awkward kids right now and this and, and, and everyone that i've seen watch this laughed at this bit because it was funny because boys are bloody idiots there's so much come in the balls they haven't got a clue what they're doing and everything feels so bloody important to him but let's go on to the lad that did this this thing that was so acceptable sony put it in a freaking marvel movie stop and he touched my arm i sort of jolted out of the way and he went into the road to avoid him and very quickly walked away <coughs> i think it would have been on my breast had i not moved yeah but it wasn't was it and even if it was, even if he was so stupid as to think, yeah, well, this will probably work. The same way that guys beat the horn at women and go, hey, as if that's ever worked. When it first happened, I didn't think much of it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. It was really weird, but I forgot about it for a while because I had my hands and just thought it was weird behavior. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. I remember what? He saw you again. Let's get back to this. Um, he smirked at me. He didn't stop. He just touched me and walked off and I broke down crying in the street. It was quite traumatic. I understand. Uh, I've got a recommendation for you right now, whatever your name is. Uh, if you are watching this, never, ever go to a Pride event in your life. Because if this awkward lad, Jamie, had you... <laughs> if this was traumatic to you... Don't go near pride, man, because then there'll be what you would consider actual violence inflicted upon you. Don't go near pride. Promise you that. Um, in fact, I wouldn't do anything ever again. Don't get a job. Don't do anything. I had reported the previous incident to the police days before. To the police. As it had been going around, the other incidents had occurred and I thought I could give more evidence than it happened again. I broke down in tears, she says, straight away and rang my mum. Your mother. Let me guess. I'm guessing there's not a father in the house. I'm guessing that you don't have any kind of example whatsoever to how, to how a, 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 a man behaves, do you? So this just freaks you out. I was revising for my exams and I couldn't focus at all. Oh my God. Felt very unsafe, blah, 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 because a guy hits on you. Are you insane? Look at him. In the street, there was other people around. Right, first thing you need to do, either of you, both of you lads, uh, the lad and the girl, sorry, right? Read a book. 
Read the coddling of the American mind. Read the fact that you have had it so easy and you are so rich and phenomenally wealthy. I know you can, be, well, you can cry all you want about fucking Brexit, but it's insane. Sat there with your iPad, all of the world's knowledge in your hands. You have no idea how, you, how good you've got it. Read the coddling of the American mind. Find out a bit, a bit, a bit of fucking anti-fragility here. This is ridiculous that you can't handle such a minor moment in your life. I would say the best course of action right now is none of this court nonsense. Not at all, man. It is expelling her from university as soon as humanly possible. Let's not waste tens of thousands of pounds educating this girl because that degree will be a phenomenal waste for her and for society. Because if she can't handle this, she ain't going to get a job. She's not going to work. She might as well just come out as trans now and spend the rest of her life begging for GoFundMe's on Twitter. Because that's what these people seem to do. They can't handle a part-time job. They can't handle being touched on the arm. Quit university. Get the fuck out of there. Because you're wasting everyone's time, including your own, especially your own. If you couldn't do your exams because someone hits on you, just wait till you get out there in the world of work and your boss says no to you. Your boss tells you that that's a bad idea or a client flirts with Oh, the trauma. But these things happen. And I'll tell you another thing. If you're an attractive woman, there's another certain reality about the work, world of work. When I work on films and we need to get a deal on some gear, we're building a set and we need to buy a couple of grand's worth of wood. Do you think we're sending my bald ass down there? Or do you think we're sending the sexiest girl on set with a nice pair of tights and a skirt on? What do you think we're doing at that point? Do you think we're going to live in reality? Or do you think the whole world is going to bend around you? Because when you do get sent down there to buy the wood, they might flirt with you. That's kind of the point. Fucking freaks. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Sutty's rehab had just said what it would be like for, uh, for men who will have to work with her. Talk about tension. Exactly. No one's going to hire her. No one's going to hire her. The girl whose arm touching was traumatic, that was legally assault. She is legally a victim now. No one's going to hire her. They'd be a fool to. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's been volunteering at a charity shop, blah, blah, blah. I'd seen her at school and I turned around to try and start a conversation and she just walked off. My intention was to make a friend. All my friends had left and I was lonely, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was. Well, you know what? Uh, I If anyone can find Jamie Griffiths for me, tell him he's got a free ticket to Meet Space on Saturday. Uh, we'll get him on. If anyone can find Jamie Griffiths, let me know. Drop me his Twitter or his Facebook or something like that. I'll send him a message. There's a free ticket. He can come down and make plenty of friends with us. And we're not going to judge him for being a dangly, awkward fool of a boy. We might mock him for it, but I ain't ringing the police. Jesus fucking Christ, these fucking idiots. Honestly. Honestly.